have you ever topped? So I have topped once. Um, I'm gonna tell you guys the story. So I was with this guy, whatever. All right, hey guys, and welcome back to today's video. For today's video, I have a very, very exciting video plan for you guys. It's actually quite chill today. So I'm just gonna answer a lot of like juicy, like tea worthy questions with you guys. Y'all been wondering about my life because so many things have happened throughout my last Q and A. So um, tea time is ready. But also, I thought, why not? Like while I'm like you know spilling tea, might as well you know be a beauty guru. <laughs> this is like awful. <laughs> Guys, don't laugh, please. Um, so I have my makeup bag, literally a Tesco bag. <laughs> if y'all don't know what Tesco is, it's like a, any grocery store. It's a grocery store bag. And so I have all my makeup in here. So basically, it's like a two-in-one video. So I'm gonna be answering tea, but like also do my makeup. So it's like, we love a Shane Dawson moment, um, except I don't have a nice pig thing. So what I will use, so pretend this is a pig mirror, okay? All right, and welcome back. <laughs> That's depressing. So, okay, so first things first is I need a hairpin to like tie this bitch up. Oh my god, my hairline is so long. I feel like Jojo Siwa, except I don't pull my hair every day. So the only thing I could find is these little elastic things. So <laughs> this will hurt. If you guys don't have hairpins at home, just don't even bother doing makeup then. <laughs> I don't know why they tighten your hair so much. Like, I don't get it. I feel like Jojo Siwa, like... <laughs> so before we do start, though, I just want to tell you guys that if y'all sip... <laughs> Oh my god. Before I do start though guys, I just want to tell you guys that if y'all subscribe, hit the bell, and comment down below the notification squad shout out. I'm gonna go in the comments down below this video and follow you. So if y'all do all three, well, this gay version of JoJo Siwa will follow you. Alright, so I don't know if I should like start off with like a question or like with a primer. Like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Hydrating primer. That's what I need because my skin is so dry. I'm like, oh my god. Oh, it smells so good as well. This is not sponsored at all, by the way. If y'all think I got sponsored by Tarte, like, you're playing yourself. I don't think Tarte is allowed to, like, sponsor trash bags. You know what I mean? So, first question before I start. Okay, so what kind of wedding do you want? This is not really, like, a, a tea-worthy question, but um, it is a question that a lot of people have been asking me. So, I'm gonna answer when are you guys getting married later. But the question was, what is your dream wedding? Oh, Auntie, perfect timing. What's your dream wedding, darling? Oh, babe. Hey, why did you leave the coat down there? It's a tissue. You're scaring Karen. Oh poor my little gosh, baby. Karen, poor kitty. Well, yeah. anyways, about my dream wedding. Oh my god, I'm late. There's coke on the floor, and my <laughs> clothes won't come out. There's a drunk time to dry. <laughs> uh, so my dream wedding, maybe like on a beach. Like I would love to do it somewhere like really nice and like hot. This is not my color, right? Fuck. Uh, yeah, so again, like, I would love to do it, like, somewhere really nice and hot. The only issue with doing it somewhere hot is that, like, me and Aunt have actually talked about this. It's like, first of all, like, half my family, oh, God. Like, all my family is pretty much in Canada. Most of Aunt's family is in the UK, or, like, are they all in the UK? So it's, like, a really hard place to think about, because, like, we thought about doing it actually in Iceland, because Iceland is, like, a really pretty, like, country, and it's an island in between Canada and the and the UK. So it's like just in between. So we thought about doing it there, but then we were like, we have like double the people amount to fly out. Cause like if we do it there, then like both families would have to fly out. If we just do it in England, only mine would have to fly out. You know what I mean? So I think it's all gonna come down to like where most families gonna be. Um, maybe we'll do like two, like a small wedding in England and a massive Italian one in Canada. Like we don't really know yet <laughs> to fly. I look like a clown. Honestly, it doesn't even look that bad in real life. I think me and Aunt would like, would like both want to do it like in a tropical place. But I think like financially, it would just be like more convenient to do it like in one of our countries. That's the one issue with like long distance couples. I feel bad for James Charles now because in real life, it doesn't look that bad. Like I, I swear. It's, it's with the ring light that fucks you up. So James, I get it. Flashback Mary is understandable now. Next question is when did you realize you were gay um so i guess you always know deep down like it's, it's not like you switch over to be gay like one day you know what i mean i guess i always knew i liked guys but i just like didn't know what it meant school and all that makes you think that if you're gay you're like the odd one out so i was just like always really confused about it like, like in school they teach you about like adam and eve and like if they use couples like in 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 theater and all that it's always a straight couple it was always hard for me like as a kid growing up to imagine like gay being okay so i just always thought of, for a really long time actually like when i was in like primary school i really thought i was like the only one because i didn't because i didn't know what gay was right when i would watch movies with, with like my sister and stuff we would always watch like barbie and all that and and 
Then we started watching like High School Musical and I always found Troy like super hot. And so I think that's when I was kind of like, okay, well listen, I find him really hot. But you know what? It's actually, it's only until I watched Shane Dawson's coming out because I, I came out as bi and everything from his coming out was just like really relatable. Like he was saying stuff about, he's like, I find girls attractive and like I would have sex with them. But like I, I just would not be like in a relationship with one. So like that, that was like the same thing with me. Like I still find girls attractive, but it's like what I like be what I see myself like with having a family and like and you know like doing all that stuff with, with a girl. Like no, I don't. I think it's literally after watching Shane Dawson's thing that I was like, how do you take this? <gasps> oh my god, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look like like a Manchester girl. <gasps> Who the fuck picked these things out for me? Oh no, it looks just as bad in real life for once actually. <laughs> That's the first time where I was really like, okay, maybe I am by. Holy shit, is that good? Cause like for the longest time I was trying to convince myself like I wasn't gay <laughs> as I'm doing like a full like drag look. The amount of times I was like, listen, I'm, I'm just gonna fake it cause like I'm bisexual. So I'll, I'll just pretend I just like girls and like that'll be it. Like at the end of the day, if you're bisexual, you, you need to try like both genders. You don't want to go through life like never trying boys because you're like, oh, I'm bi. <laughs> this person says, do your best British accent. So um, I've actually lived in the UK for a while now. So I think I can like kind of do a really good one. So as a lot of you guys know, um, recently I've actually launched my um, big announcement. Um, and surprisingly, it went really nice. Like I just wasn't expecting it to get to go like so like nicely. So yesterday I went on a date with Anthony and like it went really well. Um, had pizza as well. Pizza was really nice. Um, it was really nice actually. Um, and then also I think we had a big uh, we had nice dessert. We had a creme brulee. Really nice restaurant. It was a really nice vibe in there. He was just great chat. You know what I mean? Like, he was just great chat. He's really fit as well. You know, he's proper fit, so that really helps, you know? Honestly, in real life, it does not, it does not look that bad. You know, I might have to put this darker. Is that what it is? Oh, yeah. I just put it darker. Make, it looks a bit better. What, should I put some bronze on my nose? That's a thing, right? I think I've seen that somewhere. <laughs> Alright, so the next thing I'm gonna do is add a highlight. Now, this, this is from MAC. It's so nice. And if y'all are asking, no, I, I did not pay for this MAC highlight. I got it for free. I would never. That's just not me. <laughs> and if y'all are wondering, no, I was not on MAC's PR list. So basically, I went to an event for food, and they gave out makeup as well, so. So today I'm doing a Manchester look. It just consists of, like, a very heavy makeup, a lot of foundation, not your color, and that's what a Manchester look is. <laughs> next question. Yeah. So what's your favorite thing to do with Anne? So um, a lot's happened. <laughs> so basically my camera just died. So while I was charging, I was like, I'm gonna do my eyeshadow because I spend way too much time on eyeshadow anyways. Uh, so I felt like y'all wouldn't want to see that, but look at the result. For real, like, what do you guys think? Like, is this too much? Like, well, I mean, it is like a lot. My blending game is not really there, but like, what do you guys think anyways? Like, <laughs> Anyways, let's just finish my look and finish answering these questions. Uh, so the question was, what, what's your favorite thing to do with ants? Uh, my favorite thing to do with ants is, there's a lot of things that I love doing with them, like going on dates is really fun, or like even just snuggling down at the end of the night. I think when I'm at my happiest with ants is when we're traveling and like visiting new places. As you guys probably already know by this, uh, I, I stay in most days because I work from home, or if I do go out, it's like to a cafe and like we just work together. So I posted this look on Instagram, just my eyes quickly, and I was like, also like, like, what do y'all think of my look or like, or like my eyeshadow look and someone goes oh your your eyebrows don't look that great I'm like, I didn't even do my eyebrows yet. Like, have you gotten turned on by one another while doing a video? Uh, I'm guessing you're talking about me and Ant. Uh, yes, we actually have. And I think y'all can actually see it because sometimes we'll just be like filming a video together. And for some reason, we're just like both in the mood. You know what I mean? Like sometimes it's like a lot. And people are, are just like, I feel the sexual tension. And like people comment like, they definitely had sex after this video. <laughs> we get all these comments. So I feel like even you guys can see it. But uh, yeah, no, it's definitely happened before. A lot of our morning routines we have, all those kissing challenges, like the chapstick challenge or any of those, we were usually in the mood for those as well. I mean, at the end of the day though, it's like, if you're gonna be filming a sexy video, like, you have to expect to be, like, a bit turned on. Especially, right? Like, I look like a clown, I get it, but, like, a sexy one, right? If y'all are gonna judge me on this video, I'm not a beauty guru. I'm just, I'm new to this industry. Like, like the ratty ones. Oh! Ah, okay, so how are you like genuinely? How are you? That's such a sweet question Um, I feel like I've shown on multiple occasions that my health is very up and down Well, my, my mental health well my real health as well The thing is I feel like with like my emotions It's kind of just like the second like I have everything coming together something needs to be ruined if that makes sense like I feel like I I literally had everything going on for me like I was doing amazing and there's like this one thing I'm not really gonna talk about it right now. It's not like that important. Um, but there's always like 
it's one thing I feel right now I'm, I'm like in the process of like just trying to get over it or trying to like fix it But I don't know if you guys get what I mean by like every time like something goes really good in your life You're like at a really good like time and like a really good place like everything's going fine But then like something happens and you're like fuck like I was doing so well like why but like besides that so with all of that happening um, I also am happier now because I just finally launched my new kind of like thing I'm doing on Instagram. I, I launched my new business account at Nick Totita Biz on Instagram um, And basically I just launched this like yesterday literally and it went so well What I'll be doing on, on this account is I'm going to be giving you guys business advice on social media uh, My second most frequently asked question on social media besides like LGBTQ stuff obviously So a lot of people were actually wondering how to grow on social media uh, How to grow their business on there how to become an influencer a lot of y'all want to be youtubers Photographers and all these things and you guys just didn't know how to go about it or how to grow on it So pretty much my new Instagram at Nick Totita biz pretty much tells you guys everything you need to know So basically on, on that Instagram, I'm gonna be giving social media business advice So I'll be giving like little videos here and there so on top of this though I launched a three-hour social media master class So this class is a seven-step program that will literally bring you from zero followers to like a few thousand literally I priced it at $200 because it, it took me like months and months and months to do But there's a massive sale happening right now, and it's only $10 like it's a 95% off sale And it's only $10 for the class that I did that took me months and months and months But I mean like I, I've always really been into business and um, I have a lot of contacts now at Instagram and YouTube and all these things And they've given me loads of tips to grow on social media So now I know what to do to grow on social media and how to keep your engagement there and, and all this stuff so so if you guys are interested in growing your social media, business on social media, if you want to be an influencer, maybe your dad or your mom or your uncle or your grandma or whatever have a business that's not doing very well and their social media sucks, give them this program. It's only $10. It does for a great Christmas present, birthday present, if they want to be influencers. Yeah, like literally it's worth $200. All the classes for Instagram on this website are like $200, uh, but mine is on sale for $10. So this sale only lasts like I think one or two more days. Go get it right now if you want it. Um, and also it does for a great present because at Christmas or like in a few days when they open your present and they go look it up on you know the site, it'll say that it's $200. So they'll think you spent a lot of money on them, but like also you just really care about them and it'll show that you care because you care about their business and you care if they become successful or not. I know what I'm doing and I'm finally gonna be able to share my tips with you guys on this program. I'll leave a link to it down below if y'all want to go purchase it after this um, video but if y'all don't want to go by the program again my Instagram is really cool as well even more than social media I give advice on public speaking like stay motivated and positive so if y'all need that motivation in your life uh, that's a good Instagram go follow so now the last question is have you ever talked for an um <laughs> Listen guys, what do you mean? Why are you just assuming I'm a bottom? I'm confused. I'm gonna tell y'all a story time. Uh, this story time is meant to be helpful. So basically, so I have topped once. Uh, I'm gonna tell you guys a story because I want you guys to like understand and all these things. So I was with this guy, whatever. This is like a while ago. Well, not that long ago. Like I'm acting like I was 10. No, no, this was like two years ago, whatever. Um, yeah, so I found him on Tinder, whatever, and we had a few dates. Um, I don't think I've ever told this story on my social media ever. But um, anyways, here it goes. Yeah, so we got along, it was all fine and dandy. And then a few dates in, he asked me, you know, to like go to his house, whatever. And I was like, okay. So I, I go to his house and obviously you guys probably know what's gonna happen next. He asked me the question um, and I said, yes. <laughs> so this was the first time that I was put in this situation, but I had never been asked by a top looking person to for me to top them. And so I was just kind of there like, Oh, I, I just didn't expect it from him. So it came to a surprise when he asked me like, oh, like, do you want to do it to me? So it was my first time. Um, I had no clue what I was doing. I, I was kind of just like, I guess I'll just put it in. <laughs> Easy peasy, right? So I guess he was just into that and like, that's okay. But like, okay, a top looking gay can be into both. I can be versed. I feel like after doing it, um, I'm definitely bottom. <laughs> like, again, like, listen, it's not like terrible. Like, it's still like, it's still fun for me. But like, do I prefer the other way around yes like it's all about preference and you shouldn't be uh, afraid to ask your partner especially if it's been a while like if you guys want to switch it up a night and like verse or like whatever because i feel like as a gay like you should experience both um both bottom and top and even if you think like oh like i'm not ready to be top or like i'm not ready to be bottom like i just can't but i feel like you need to experience it while you're gay because like listen you're only gay once and you're well 
unless you turn straight, but, and then back to gay. But no, but like, you, you only have one life where you're gay, so like, might as well try everything, you know what I mean? And surprisingly, you might even like it. Like, I mean, I'm sure this guy didn't like already know that he was gonna be into it when it, when, when, when it first happened, but it's by doing stuff and it's by trying stuff out with your sexuality that you realize if you like stuff or not. So anyways, bottom line, I prefer the other way around. Would I occasionally do the other way around? Top, yes, I would. Sometimes you have to please someone else over yourself, you know what I mean? All right, guys, so hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. It was very, like, um, gay. <laughs> very, very gay, actually. Ask me some questions down below, and I'll be answering uh, them in my next Q&A. So I'll be taking questions from the comments this time and not from Instagram, so. But also, guys, please, 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 if y'all, again, are interested in buying my program, it's only $10 for the next, like, one or two days. It's only $10. It's literally 95% off. No joke. Great present for your dad, for your mom. Maybe your dad, you know, owns a firm. Like, social media can be for any business, so even if you guys sell jewelry, I know a lot of y'all sell slime as well so social media is the first and most important thing to any business it can help a lot of people like people that bought it already are saying it's really good and like it's helping them already so anyway so link to that program down below and also guys my new instagram will be there as well and that's all for the video guys i'm gonna go and i'm gonna see you guys after tomorrow with my new video all right bye